Welcome to episode 139 of Norse Myths, Legends, and Folk Tales. My name is Mylinda Butterworth, and today we find a princess who likes to weave wild tales or lies, only to find someone who could tell a bigger lie than her, and the ash lad who made the princess say, that's a lie. There was once on a time a king who had a daughter. She was such an awful liar that you couldn't find a greater one anywhere. So the king made it known that if anyone could outdo her in telling lies and could make her say that's a lie, he should have her for a wife and half the kingdom in the bargain. There were many who tried. All and sundry would be glad to get the princess and half the kingdom, but none succeeded. Well, there were also three brothers. They also were going to try their luck. The two elder brothers set out first, but they fared no better than all the others. Then the youngest, the ash lad, or ash for short, thought he would try. He set out for the giant palace and met the princess outside the cowshed. Good day, he said. Good day, she said in return. Our farm is so big, when two farmers stand at each end of it and blow their horns, they can't hear each other. Well, our farm is bigger, said Ash. When a cow gets pregnant at one end of the farm and walks to the other end, it's already time for her to give birth to her baby cow. Well, you don't have such big ox as we do. When someone sits on each of the ox's two horns, they can't touch each other with a twelve-foot pole, said the princess. Is that all? Well, we have an ox who is so big that when two men sit one on each horn and each blows his mountain trumpet, they can't hear one another, said Ash. We haven't got so big a bull as we have. Look, we empty the milk into big tubs, then we make fantastic cheeses said the princess oh you do do you said ash well we pour our milk into big tubs and then we put the tubs into carts we pour the milk into large tanks and make cheeses as big as a house one day a horse fell into the cheese we couldn't find her for seven years then when we found her she couldn't walk so I put a small tree into her back as a backbone to help her walk again. But the small tree grew up into a very large tree. I climbed the tree up to heaven. There I saw an angel sitting and weaving the foam of the sea into ropes. At that moment, the top of the tree broke off and I couldn't get down again. So the angel let me slide down on one of the ropes. I fell in a fox's hole, the nest of your mother and your father, I think it was. Uh, they were sitting there in the fox's hole, fixing shoes. Just then, your mother gave your father such a blow that figs dropped from his hair. The princess stood up and shouted, What? That's a lie, said the princess. My father never did any such thing in all his born days. The king heard her say, that's a lie. And so he gave his daughter and half the kingdom to the ash lad. I understand that the liar's contest is still going on today, but it's followed by laughter. And here is where I end my tale for today. But I'll be back with more tales, many more tales. Until then, my friends, enjoy the journey.